AQFX starts now. Two more people face criminal charges in an alleged hazing incident at the University of Missouri. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lucas Geisler. Deborah has the night off. Freshman Danny Santulli was left disabled after receiving severe alcohol poisoning at a pledge event at Phi Gamma Delta, also known as Fiji. ABC 17's Marina Diaz is live on MU's campus with more on the grand jury's indictments. Marina, you were able to speak with the Santulli family lawyer. Lucas, that's right. Back in October, Danny Santoli attended a party here at Fiji where he got alcohol poisoning after police say members forced him and others to drink alcohol. I spoke with the Santoli family's lawyer, Dave Ban Banke, who after two members of the fraternity got charged today. The Boone County Grand Jury indicted Thomas Schultz and Ryan Delante today for their role in the incident that resulted in Danny Santoli getting severe alcohol poisoning. They both face charges of hazing and giving a minor alcohol. You cannot do these things and think you're going to get away with it with no consequence when you've left an 18 year old with massive brain damage, permanently blind, unable to walk or talk, and he will never get any better. Schultz was also indicted on a felony count of tampering with evidence. Court records say that Schultz withheld text messages from the police between he and Delante. David Bianchi is the Santoli family's lawyer, and he says he hopes that the grand jury is just getting started. Uh, what the uh, grand jury did is uh, a part of the criminal prosecution of the case, which is different than our civil case. We are hopeful that the grand jury's work is not done. Schultz was the vice president of the frat, and Delante was Danny Santoli's pledge dad. Bianchi says he is the one who gave Santoli the alcohol, but Bianchi says they are not the only ones who played a role in this case. Uh, hopefully this is just the start of a whole series of indictments because many other people played a role in organizing this illegal event. Um, uh, getting the alcohol to the house, setting it all up, telling the pledges what to do. All of that is part of the hazing process. Delante and Schultz now join Alec Wetzler as the only members of the frat to receive charges so far. Lucas, neither Schultz or Delante are listed as inmates in the Boone County Jail as of now, and they will have to put up a 50,000 bond to be released. Reporting live in Columbia, Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. Marina, thank you. There is also a change.org petition demanding justice for Danny Santulli. It's got about 11,000 signatures in just four days.